if somebody ask you that what is your weight and you have answered my weight is 40 kg then the answer what you have given is the right answer what we expected are you giving actual the weight or something else yes here there is a confusion you said my weight is 40 kg but when you mention 40 kg it is unit of mass that means you are thinking that you are giving the weight value but actually you are giving the mass then how can we find the weight of the body by knowing the mass so when mass is 40 kg the weight the formula we know already which is mass into gravity so this is 40 into 10 which is 400 newtons so if again the person ask you that what is your weight then need to answer that my weight is 400 newtons that is the right answer but many of the people don't know if you say 400 newton because all our weighing machines and our conversations done in forms of kgs only so that's why even if you say 40 kg weight it's not a problem you are correct but while you writing on the book you should make sure that my weight is my weight is 40 kg wt you should write like this then you are correct but if you write my weight is 40 kg then you are wrong because you are writing mass or you can write my weight is 400 newtons both are right answers now a small conversion i wanted to tell you 1 kg weight equals to how many newtons how do you solve this problem if you know this stop the video here do the calculation replay the video and check the answer and the answer is find and can be found like this weight equal to m into g mass into acceleration due to gravity so the mass is 1 kg g is 10 so this is nothing but 10 newtons so 1 kg weight is equal to 10 newtons now it's become very simple if somebody says my weight is 65 kg then the answer is 650 newtons if somebody says my weight is 80 kg then the answer is 800 newtons so that's how you can convert from mass to weight now one more thing i wanted to tell you there are two formulas f equals to ma and uh, weight equals to mg of course weight is also f i told you earlier weight force or same f equal to ma f equal to mg see here m mass m mass both are masses but there is a slight difference this mass in f equal to ma this mass is called inertia mass inertia mass the mass responsible for the inertia remember in newton last we discussed inertia the tendency of a body to be in the state of rest or to be in the uniform motion so that is inertia mass and inertia mass formula is f by a you just take a to the left hand side now coming to weight equal to mg now in this case this m is called gravitational mass gravitational mass because this m is uh, involved in the gravitational force or the weight of the body so in that case the gravitational mass is f by g so when somebody ask you what is inertia mass you need to go with f by a if they ask gravitational mass if you you have to go with f by g okay now come back to this table why have written the table there we know that g which is 9.8 meters per second square and we rounded to 10 meters per second square is constant means wherever you go on the surface of the earth g is constant no g changes if you go different places on the earth 
but change is very small. That's what the scientists did. They have taken different G values on the different surfaces of different surface of the Earth, and they're taking the average value. And that average value we are today we are saying 9.81 or 10 meters per second square. This G depends upon the planet. Planet to planet, G value changes. If you go to Mars planet, then G is not 9.81. If you if you go to Mercury, G is not 9.81. If you go to any satellite like our moon, G is not 9.81. So G value changes from planet to planet and uh, star to star. Scientists observed that on the moon, the G value is not 9.81, but actually it is a, it is one by six times of G of the Earth. So G on the moon equal to 1 by 6 times of G on the earth. That means what? What did it means? Suppose your weight is 60 kg here. But if you are on the moon, then you are not 60 kg. 60 by 6, you, you, you feel only 10 kg. Means you lost your weight. Suppose you have, you, your weight is, uh, you know, uh, 30 kg on the earth. If you go to the moon, it is only just 5 kg because 30 by 6. So when you go to the moon, the G value decreases. Now the question is, how do we find this relationship? G of the moon equal 1 by 6 and G of the earth. This can be solved by using the formula G equal to Gm by R square. Now, let us take the formula G equal to Gm by R square g equals to gm by r square. First of all, we find the g for earth. So, g earth equals to g value constant. We know what is the mass of the earth? 6 into 10 power 24 by r square mass, uh, what you call radius of the earth, 6.37 into 10 power 6 whole square. Equation 1. Now, g on the moon capital G into mass of the moon is 7.3 into 10 power 22 by radius 1.74 into 10 power 6 whole square. Just I am substituting the values by seeing this table. Now, G of moon I want by G of earth means equation 2 by equation 1. What will happen? G into 7.3 into 10 power 22 by 1.74 10 power 6 whole square whole divided by this take the G earth G into 6 into 10 power 24 by 6.37 into 10 power 6 whole square. So if you simplify this taking this fraction to the upper numerator side the fraction reversed gg cancel if you simplify everything then you will get a 1 by 6 so implies g of moon equal to 1 by 6 times of g of earth so that's why we found that mass the g or the weight of any body on the moon is decreased if you like this video please give a thumbs up Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.